Good morning, children. How are you all? Welcome to the next next second session. Our country. Okay, in this lesson, I would like to explain about the national our national symbols. These are the our national symbols. Our national animal is tiger. The tiger is symbolized for the tiger is symbolized for power and strength, and it indicates the our country. Our country also is power and strength. Our national flag. Our national flag. It is a rectangular, and it is a horizontal, and it has a three color: saffron, white, and green. It is symbolized the unity. And middle we can see the Ashoka Chakra, and it is designed by designed by uh, Pingali Venkaya. Uh, okay, next our national em emblem. This is our national emblem, and we can see the national emblem. With the next uh, with the Ashoka Chakra and it was and Ashoka Chakra the capital of Ashoka at Saranath and the national emblem of India and it has a sculpture of elephant, horse, bull and lion and this is separated by wheel and it is written in the middle Satyameva Jayate and the next one the peacock the national bird is peacock. And it symbolizes the glance, the beauty, like our country. The next, the mango. The national fruit is mango. It uh, symbolizes and it uh, uh, comes and our India is, uh, indicates the tropical climate. That's why it grows here only in India. The next, uh, we can see the the national flower. Lotus. It symbolizes for the purity and purity and the, this one eternal life. The next uh, we can see that our uh, national sports is a uh, hockey. Okay, next. Next, uh, our country is a part of the largest continent in the world, and you know as I told the before, our our. our in the world map, our country is seventh largest country, as I told. You can identify in the continent, our country, this picture, where is this is the world map. We can identify the here is our country, India. What is this model of represent an area called? It is a map. It is a map we can Locate the where the where where are the countries are. We can locate it. It is a map, the world map shown here. A map is a graphical represent of an area, flat surface, drawn to scale. It has a two dimensional measurement. It's a two dimensional measurement. Maps may be big in size, hanging on the wall maps, or a small atlas. A small atlas depending on the name. They can be carried easily by rolling or folding them. We can carry anywhere else. Like this, on this, like this. Next. What does the object represent? Have you seen the globe? Ch children, have you seen the globe? Globe. And this is the globe. This is the globe. It represents the world map. And the globe is a three-dimensional spherical model. Here it represents the earth. It represents the earth. Earth also is a spherical shape. In, it is a shape in spherical. And the, it gives us a clear view of real location of continent. We can see your continent. India. China and Africa, then South America, North America, Australia, 
Iran, Saudi Arabia. You can see like this. Then, because of its size and globe, cannot be shown how that it is like Walmart. Next. What do you call? What do you call the directions that, that are used to locate the, a place? There are four main directions. That, that, that are north, east, west, and south. These are called coordinate directions. These are called coordinate directions. These are called ordinal directions. Ordinal directions. In this lesson, we shall learn about our, our country and it is a physical and, and its physical features. Physical features. India is a rich in the most diverse physical features of land forms. What are the land forms? Shall we learn about the landforms? Okay. The first one, mountain. Mountain is a place which higher than the land around it. A mountain is bigger than the Hill. Okay, this is the mountain called mountain. Mountain is a place much higher than the land. It is a much higher than the land around it, and the mountain is bigger than the hill. You must different here. Hill is different than mountain. Next, glacier. Glacier is a huge mass of ice accumulated on the land, moving slowly under its weight. You can show, it is a glasses. Here we can see here, down glasses. Next, valley. Valley is a low land area between mountains and hills. This is the valley. These two are mountains and between between the gap is there, no? it is called valley. Valley is a low area between two mountains or hills. It is called valley. Next, canyon. Canyon is a deep valley with a very steep sides. This is the canyon. Next, plateau. Plateau is a flat area higher than the land around it. From land, it is so higher plateau. It's a rocky place. This is the plateau, like rocky place. We can see in Andhra Pradesh also. If you go to the Karnun. When Atmakur, when you go to Atmakur, Nandiala, you will find the rocky places called plateaus. These are all the plateaus. Next, plain. Plain is a flat area suitable for the crops. Plain land. Next, desert. Desert an area is a, a barren land with extremely low rainfall. You can see the uh, desert is a full of sandy. Okay. You might have seen the pictures, many pictures. It is a sandy. Next, ocean. Ocean is a large body of salt water 
and uh, ocean and it is a ocean indian ocean this is the indian ocean and sea sea is generally part of the ocean particularly surround, surrounded surrounded by the land and the coast coast is the area where an ocean and sea touches the land this is the coastal coastal plain this is the coastal coromandel coast coromandel our india is having very big coastal area coastal next gulf gulf is a body of water almostly completed surrounded by the land with a narrow mouth okay children then lake lake is a large body of water surrounded by the land in your villages you can see the lake then river river is a large natural stream of fresh water flowing on the land toward the ocean understand okay river you might have seen tunga patra the water krishna godavari all these things are rivers waterfall waterfall is a place what where water flows over the vertical drop of the cross the stream or river okay you might have seen the waterfalls jog falls in karnataka in in, uh, in uh, some other places next next waterfall next delta delta is an area land formed the soil deposit at the mouth of the river okay like godavari brahmaputra and uh, kaveri and uh, ganga these are all the it forms the deltas they forms the deltas and so you some pictures of deltas this is the delta this is the delta next next uh, island island is the mass completely surrounded by water on all the sides our india is a island is surrounded by the three sides of water and then this middle it is a called land and this is our peninsula okay peninsula next next uh, we'll go to the next second session the next class hello children good morning once again welcome to the third session and i'll ask some cross questions you are seeing okay previous questions what we have decided what we have uh, discussed and i'll ask them okay how many national symbols are there what are those okay tiger the national animal national bird peacock then the national fruit mango then flag national emblem national sports hockey the national emblem all those things we had explained next how many directions are there north south east west northeast okay there are four directions are there what is the difference between mountains and hills the mountains are the mountains are higher than the land around it and the mountain is bigger than the hill okay mountain is bigger than the hill next what is valley what is a valley valley is a low area between two mountains and hills what is ocean ocean is a large body of salt water okay it is surrounded by it is surrounded by whole world next what is a river you know river is a large natural stream of the flowing water next what is island island is the island is surrounded by the water and in between you will find the land what is okay island you can see example of uh, andaman nicobar and this one sri lanka next what is a plateau plateau is a rocky place okay plateau is a rocky place it is a flat higher than the land around it okay you can see the plateaus here that kind of plateau or this that kind of plateau next let us discuss the lesson 
India is surrounded by the Bay of Bengal in the east, the Arabian Sea in the west, the Indian Ocean in the south, and the Himalayas in the north. Okay, Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea, and Indian Ocean. Okay, let us learn about different land landforms of our country. Mountains. The highest range of mountains in the world are Himalayas. Here we can find the Himalayas. Here we can find the Himalayas. Their peaks are covered with the snow throughout the year. Here, Siachen and Gangotri are the glaciers. Siachen and here, Mount Everest is here. Mount Everest and uh, okay. Here, here are the mountains. Throughout the year, it's uh, throughout the year it's covered with the snow. Next, Yachin and Gangotri are the glaciers. Next, Aravalli and Bindya ranges are located in central India, Saptura and eastern western Ghats are located. Here, Bindya, Bindya, Aravalli, Aravalli, Saptura. Sakura and Aravali and this is Eastern Gates and Western Gates. This is Eastern Gates and Western Gates of South India. Next, let us go to the plate. The Deccan plate is large, making up most the southern part of the country. It is a lay, it is like an inverted triangle with the Sapra ranges, western gates, and its boundaries on the three sides. Kanyakumari is the its south tree. From starting to here, with Kanyakumari, it is a southern plateau. It is a southern Deccan plateau, we can say Deccan plateau. Still, it is the tip of the Kanyakumari, is it is to here. Next, plains. Indo Gantic Plain. This is the major fertile region south of Himalayas and it forms due to the soil deposit laid by the sea rivers Indus, Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra, Brahmaputra. A variety of crops are grown here. This is, this is the place. This is the place. Aravali plain, the Ganga, plain of the Ganga, this is the plain, uh, Aravali plain, and plain of the Ganga, and, and they bring the sand and deposit there, and it will become the plain of the soil, and here they can cultivate the plenty of multi multiply of the crops are grown here, you can see here. Next, coastal plains. The narrow strip of the plain that is lies is between the eastern gates and the coastal gates of the uh, Bay of Bengal in the eastern coastal plains. Eastern coastal plains. The, the narrow strip of plain lies between eastern gates and the hill. These are the plains. Next, western coastal plains in the strip place between the western girls and coast of Arabian Sea here. Next, eastern coastal plains is much broader. These regions are arable and suitable for wide variety of crops because of the rivers such as Mahanandi, Godhavari, Krishna and Kavari flow here. Mahanandi. Krishna and Godavari Kavi, where the yeah, coastal coastal plains. Next, desert. The great Indian desert, also known as the Thar Desert. The Thar Desert, you can see here, Thar Desert, the border of Rajasthan, in the place, in the state of Rajasthan, it comes Rajasthan, Thar Desert. 
lies in the northwest, northwest of India. It is a dry and unfertile sandy region covering a vast area. It is not suitable for the cultivation. No rain also. Next, rivers. India is the land of rivers. Identify the rivers flowing in our country from map shown here and this is the map. Map of the rivers. Next, Himalayas are the source of many rivers such as the Indus, Ganga, Yamuna and Brahmaputra. These shown here, fed rivers are perennial. Perennial. Perennial means long lane. These rivers are because of Himalayas. They never dry. Throughout the year they flow. Which are the rivers? Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra, Indus. These are the Pennal rivers, Penna, perennial rivers, long lived, they are not, they are not dry. The other major rivers are Mahanandi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri and Penna flows from west to east, east, west to east, into the, west to east and flow, emerge in the Bay of Bengal, Bay of Bengal. Narmada and Kapata rivers flow from east to west and, and emerge into Arabia These rivers are rain fed. Only rain, when there are never the rainy season only, it will flow. The Ganga is the longest river in India. The Ganga is the longest river in India. Next, waterfall. Dut Sagar, Job, Talagona. There are some of the famous waterfalls in India. Okay. Waterfalls like this will be. If you want to see the waterfalls, you go to the Karnataka and some other hilly place, you will see the waterfalls. Next, lakes. Some are the examples for the lakes Sambar, Sambar Lake, Chilka, Pulikot, and Kulluru are the some of the lakes in, in India. Kulluru in the, you can see it in Andhra Pradesh. These are the lakes. Next, Delta. The Sundar Bain is the largest delta in the world. Sundar Bain. You can see it here. Sundar Bain. Delta. Here. Sundar Bain. It is located at the mouth of the rivers Ganga and Brahmaputra, near the where as the flow to the Bay of Bengal. Before go to the Bay of, Bay of Bengal and it will, the oil, everything will be, they have deposit there and, become, and it, it makes the deltas. Similarly, the child deltas are formed by Godavari and Krishna also. Next, Peninsula. Southern part of India is a peninsula which is surrounded by water on three sides of the land of mass on, on the other side. For example, our India is a peninsula surrounded by the water from three sides. The middle is land. Next, island. The Lakshadweep are the islands located in the Arabian Sea. Okay, these are the Arabian Sea near the Arabian Sea. Lakshadweep are located here. And Andaman and Nicobar are located in Bea Bengal. Bea Bengal. These are the Andaman and Nicobar. Andaman and Nicobar. Next, coast. India has a long coastal line because of the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. East coast and west coast are the coastlines of India, starting from the Bangladesh, uh, West Bengal, Mahamos, then Kanyakumari. It's so, a long coastal area. Next. Our is the seventh largest country in terms of area, as I told before. Seventh largest country in the world. And it lies to the north equator in the 
here if you see the world map it is located in the north equator the geography of india is extremely diverse with landscape ranging from snow cow mountain ranges to desert plains hills and plateaus is a different different extremely wonderful diverse of india as we see there are 28 states and nine union territories in india new delhi is our, our national capital as i told okay next class we will meet again